To say that a depressive person has a more accurate assessment of reality than a non-depressed person, one has to first assume that there is such a thing as an accurate assessment of reality, which I don't believe uh, is necessarily the case, or if someone is going to say that it is the case, they're going to have to prove it. For example, in a small way, I can demonstrate that our view of reality is biased or flawed. What's this? It's a can of chickpeas, a can of hummus, actually, prepared with tahini and that sort of thing. No, it's not. It's a jumble of matter, energy, and, above all, empty space. It's chickpeanus is something that we have... <laughs> chickpeanus, Freudian slip there, is something that uh, we have imposed upon it. It's um, according even to hard science. All this is is matter, energy, empty space, which are ultimately functions of each other. Now, apply that to everything that we see in the normal course of events of a day, and you'll see just how biased our view of reality is. We've got to back up if we're going to say that we can place value on reality itself. A lot of people might think that this is quibbling and crazy and, uh, and really pushing things far beyond the limits of what is necessary, uh, but I would say no, it's not because we're placing value on existence, on reality, itself. <laughs> this is one of the most fundamental questions of them all, and I don't think one can get too nitpicky over this.